Kellogg. Mr. Speaker, doesn't the Prime Minister realise that for her to insist that she knows better than Nelson Mandela is both arrogant and absurd? Doesn't she, doesn't she also realise that if she says no to the one single request that he has made to her and the international community, what she's saying to Nelson Mandela is, you're on your own, we are turning our back on you. No, Mr. Speaker. I think the right honourable gentleman possibly takes his instructions from the ANC. Oh. Yes. You take your instructions from the ANC. Take my instructions from the ANC, who believe in comprehensive economic sanctions, which we have totally rejected. Who believe in well, order. Well, there's a point of order. Uh, order. Hey, order. I, I confess there was so much noise that I did not hear what the Prime Minister had said. Prime Minister, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Order. This sounds awful. May I order? I ask, ask the Prime Minister. Order. If an unparliamentary expression falls in, then I say. Uh, if an unparliamentary expression was used, I'm sure the Prime Minister would wish to withdraw it. I will start my reply again. I will start my reply again. The ANC believes in comprehensive economic Sounds order. The Prime Minister must be given an opportunity to make a reply. Order. Order. The Prime Minister said she would start her reply again. I ask her to do it. Prime Minister. Again, having withdrawn the previous time. I have said that now three times. I have said it three times. An honourable gentleman cannot hear me. The ANC, the ANC stands for comprehensive economic sanctions, so do the Labour Party. It stands for armed struggle, so apparently do the Labour Party. Yes. It's an order. It's a very disorderly Prime Minister's question. We must hear the reply. It stands for, it stands for nationalisation of most of the economic means of production. We do not. Mr Mandela naturally said he stood through all three in his what I would call ritual speech. I believe he is making very much better and more peaceful speeches during his press conferences. I believe what he said was ritual. There are other people in South Africa, such as Chief Bujanese, such as Helen Sussman, who have been fighting for the end of apartheid far longer than many people in this house. They are absolutely against sanctions, and I believe it is right, right, to encourage President de Klerk and the people in South Africa to go further in the way we want by removing some of the sanctions. Yeah. Mr. Shersby! Oh, order! Order! Mr. Michael Shersby. Has, has my...